today I decided to do a full face drugstore look for you. I'm also going to show you guys the outfit that I'm going to wear today after I'm done putting on my face. I figured we would do a really fun springy look today. I'm also going to include some cream contouring as well. Everything I'm going to use in this video is either from the drugstore or it's very affordable such as Makeup Geek, RCMA, Manic Panic. Those are just some examples of some of the brands I'm going to use. But everything I'm going to include in this tutorial can be purchased for $15 or less. The most expensive item I'm going to be using is my color switch solo if for some reason I need to use this. I just threw this in here. This was $15. But everything else I think was mostly $10 or less. So this is going to be a really affordable tutorial and I hope you guys enjoy. It's going to be very springy and include a lot of pastels. So I'm really excited to get started. I'm actually going to start with my face today because I'm doing a pretty simple eye look so I'm not going to have a lot of fallout. I've already washed and moisturized my face. I'm not going to use a primer today because I'm using a foundation that really doesn't require one. It just looks amazing pretty much all the time and it stays on forever. This is the Revlon Color Stay. I have the shade 240 Medium Beige. This is a little bit dark for me so I am going to mix it in with a little bit of Manic Panic Dream Tone. I want to say that the Revlon Color Stay is anywhere between $8 to $12 and the Manic Panic I know is around $11 on Amazon and I think you can get free shipping with Amazon Prime. So I'm going to go ahead and shake up the foundation. I'll put a little bit on the back of my hand and I'll mix in some of the Manic Panic. I wish this had a pump. I saw somebody use the Revlon Color Stay in a video recently and theirs had a pump and I'm wondering if they jimmy rigged it or if Revlon finally listened to everyone and put a pump on their Color Stay. So if you know if they have a pump now or not, tell me because I would really like to get one with a pump. So now that I have some foundation on the back of my hand, I'm going to mix in the Manic Panic Dream Tone and I'm just going to mix that in with the Revlon Color Stay. And it's just going to lighten it up a little bit. That looks pretty good. It might still be a little bit too dark for me, but we're going to work with it. I'm going to be using my Real Techniques sponge to blend this out. I just washed this, and man, this thing is it's trying to die. I need to get a new one. The Real Techniques sponges retail anywhere from around $5 to seven or eight, depending on where you buy them. So if I buy it on drugstore.com, it's typically around $5.50, but if you go to CVS or Ulta, I think they're around $8. The Revlon Color Stay is one of my all-time favorite foundations. It's so affordable. I wore it last night to work. I put it on around 3 p.m. and it was still going strong by the time I got off of work and got home around 8.30. I used my makeup eraser to clean my face and so much foundation came off and typically with any other foundation. A little bit will come off, but I still have foundation on like my whole face. I was really impressed. Now it's boring, and to do this, I'm actually gonna be using some concealers from Maybelline. These are the Maybelline Fit Me Concealers. The dark shade that I use to actually contour with is the shade 30 Cafe. The shade I used to highlight is 15 Claire, and if for some reason I'm a little bit more tan, I use the shade 25 Medium, but I'm not. <laughs> First I go in with my contour color and I do that because after I contour I clean up with the highlight shade. You'll see a lot of tutorials when it comes to cream contouring where they put both their highlight and their contour shade on their face at the same time and that does work just fine if you are advanced or if you are very good at cream contouring but I find that if you are not and you're just beginning it can get a little bit muddy and it's just easier to clean up any mistakes that you might make with your contour or any muddiness with your highlight shade if you do them kind of separate. I'm just going to go ahead and put this cream contour color everywhere that I would normally contour. So I'm going to put it under my cheekbones I'm going to kind of do a triangle here, make it look like a tiger stripe. And don't worry if you make a mistake, this is something that we can clean up later. 
I like to put some under my bottom lip. And somehow I always, always, always forget to blend that out. I definitely need some on my forehead here. I got a hella big forehead. My mother says that a high forehead is a sign of intelligence. I like to really contour under my chin and really define back here because that's what's gonna give you a really sharp neck contour. And I, I don't know, I like a really sharp neck contour. So I'm also gonna do my nose. I'm gonna make a stripe there and then one on this side. I got a pretty big nose and then I'm gonna take it and connect it to my eyebrows here. I'm gonna use one side of my Real Technique sponge to blend the contour, and then I'll use a different side to blend out the highlight shades. And you don't wanna go too crazy with this. You definitely kinda wanna keep it contained. And I know it looks dark and scary now, but it is gonna blend out. have all of the darker color blended out I'm gonna go in with our highlight shade like I said I wear the Maybelline fit me in the shade fair I'm gonna put this everywhere where I would normally highlight so I'm gonna do it in a nice triangle under my eyes I'm also gonna do my cupid's bow my chin I'm gonna clean up this contour here down the center of my nose and the sides. And then my forehead. I'm also gonna take a little bit on my eyelids to prime my eyelids for our eyeshadow. camera this looks way harsher and way crazier in this lighting but I promise it's gonna look just fine by the time we're done to set my whole face and my under eyes I'm gonna be using this RCMA no color powder you can get this online for around $11 for this giant tub and I'm gonna press it in to my face using my damp sponge the only thing I hate about this is the stupid container like you can't get any out you gotta it's obnoxious well, it's just, it's obnoxious. Next, I'm gonna be moving on to bronzer, and I'm gonna be using the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. And if you're new with to makeup, you might be wondering why I went to all that trouble to cream contour, and I'm still gonna put on a powder bronzer and highlight. The reason why you do this is to make your contour last longer. So cream contour just kind of lays down a nice natural looking contour base, but if you put a bronzer over it, it's also gonna make your contour last all day. Oh my God, I love this so much. It smells so good. But to apply this, I'm using my Morphe M177 brush. This is my favorite brush for contouring. It's also good for bronzing. So when I contour, I put the brush on its side and I get the contour on kind of the edge there. I'm sorry, the brush is dirty. And then I take it and I go under my cheekbones with it and I really define my cheekbones. And then I can blend it out with the flat side. I'm gonna take this Morphe M518 brush and go along the sides of my nose. I'm gonna bring this onto my eye a little bit, just kind of carry that over because I have hooded lids and I wanna give the appearance of a slightly higher crease than I have. And this is just gonna kind of create a shadow of a slightly higher crease. Okay, so now that I've contoured my face, and bronzed it. I'm gonna go in with this Milani blush in the shade Dolce Pink. Dolce Pink. Dolce? Dolce. Let me know. It's just a really pretty shimmery feminine pink blush. 
And I'm gonna put this on with my Morphe E4. I love this brush for blush. And I'm just gonna smile and put it on the apples of my cheeks. Now that I've got my blush on, I'm gonna go in and highlight, and I'm gonna be using this Physicians Formula Vegas Strip Light Bronzer. But this is what I'm gonna to use to highlight. Stay towards the lighter shades down here. You can definitely use this to highlight. I left my highlight brush upstairs that I use all the time. So I'm just gonna go in with this Morphe E27 eyeshadow brush and really just swirl it around in this highlight color and put it on my cheekbones. I really love Physicians Formula. I think that they make really good products. For the longest time, I couldn't find a good drugstore highlighter and I really, really like this one. But now there's so many good highlighters coming out from the drugstore or at drugstore prices. One of my favorites was only $13. It's from Sleek Cosmetics, which is a British-based makeup company. But I got it on eBay for like 13 bucks, and it's insane how pigmented it is. But I really like this one as well. It's really pretty. I always highlight my cupids though. Tip of my nose, just, just, just the tip. Not really, I'm actually gonna go down the center. And a little bit on my chin here. Now that we have done face, I'm gonna move on to my eyeballs. My eyeballs. And I'm gonna start off by curling my lashes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. I know that a lot of people think that this looks weird or intimidating, but I cannot say enough the difference that this makes in your lashes. They're just gonna look so much more fanned out lifted, make your eyes look so much more open, and your mascara is just gonna go on cleaner and less clumpy if your lashes are already a little bit separated. And I'm digging this so far, but that's just me. I don't know. So our eyes already had concealer on them. I'm just gonna clean off this E27 here and take a little bit of this RCMA No Color Powder and put it all over my lids. I did put a little bit on there earlier, but I wanna make sure everything blends really well. So if for some reason you're having issues blending your bronzer, your blush, your eyeshadows, whatever, take a little bit of loose powder on your brush and you can go over it and blend with that and it will really help you. We've done that. I'm actually gonna go into a Z palette. Well, it's not actually a Z palette. It's a magnetic makeup palette. And I just wanna take a minute to appreciate the gloriousness that is this freaking makeup palette. Look at this. I recently got this off of Etsy from a store called Book of Shadows and it's double sided. Isn't that awesome? So I've got some bronzers and blushes and all of my Makeup Geek shadows in here and I love this. The only thing I wish I could change is this because I lose these all the freaking time and this is what they give you to separate the two sides. This. That's stupid. They need to find a way to attach plastic. Like actually attach like a flap. Like a plasticky flap that will protect your shiz from separating. Now that I've gotten that off my chest, we can move on. Uh, clean off my E27 brush really, really well. I'm going to go in with this shade right here. So this is Makeup Geek's Peach smoothie. I'm gonna use this as my transition shade. So I'm gonna lightly put this all over my lid here. It's gonna also help everything blend together and make any blending that we do more seamless. Next, I'm gonna be going in with this really, really pretty pink shade. This is the shade Cupcake. I'm gonna be taking this on my Morphe M518 brush and it's also a blending brush, but the bristles are a little bit less soft. They're a little bit more firm. It's a little bit more dense. It's gonna be able to put the color on exactly where I want it. It's not gonna be so all over the place. Yes, and I'm gonna put this from my crease down. And because I have hooded lids, I'm gonna go a little bit above my crease or else you're just not gonna be able to see the pink at all. The shadows aren't gonna be my main event today. The main event today is, is gonna be my eyeliner. So I'm keeping my eyeshadows nice and subtle and soft. My right eye is more hooded than my left eye, so I really have to focus on bringing the shade up higher on my right eye. Does anyone else have that problem where you have just one eye that is completely wonky? It's not gonna age well, I already know. 
My mom had to get an eye lift because she had the same problem. But I'm not really that into the concept of surgery. Surgery freaks me out. And I'm a nurse. Surgery just freaks me the hell out. I don't know. It's gonna go in with one more eyeshadow shade and that is going to be Barcelona Beach by Makeup Geek. And I'm just gonna take this on a Morphe M169 pencil brush and I'm just gonna get a little bit on here and I'm gonna take it above my crease to kind of deepen it up a little bit. I'm gonna take a little bit of this and put it on my lower lash line. That's all of the shadows that we're gonna be using on our eyes today. Next, I'm gonna be going in with this super fun Wet n Wild Mega Liner. This is the shade A Case of Blue. Hopefully you can see everything because I'm not the best at doing winged liner on camera. In fact, I'm really bad at it. I don't think I'm gonna do a wing all the way across. I think I just wanna do a half wing unless the winged liner gods disagree. So these are so easy to do wings with. I just start at the corner. Ooh wee, that's blue. I start with my wing and then I just bring it on over. So while my eyeliner is finishing drying, I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows. And today I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Brow Define and Fill Duo. I know my blue liner looks crazy right now, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna look just fine once I put on my mascara. It just looks a bit bright, but it's gonna be okay. I'm just gonna start by filling in the bottom part of my brow and following the line, and then I kind of just make hair-like strokes in the front and fill it in a little bit and then I fill in the top. I'm just going to extend the end a little bit and fill in the front. Now I'm just going to go over it with the brow powder and it's in the lid, the powder, and it goes on this little spongy thing and I just lightly go over my brows with it. The only thing I wish this had was somehow it had a spoolie, but it does not. But that's okay. I overall really like this brow product, and I wanna say it was really affordable. You know when you have good brow days and you have bad brow days? This is a bad brow day. But that's okay. We're just gonna move on and accept it. We all have them. For mascara, I'm gonna be using one of my all-time favorite drugstore mascaras, and that is the L'Oreal Telescopic in Carbon Black. I had a little mascara mishap again on my liner. So I'm just gonna let that dry and I'm gonna put on my lipstick and then I'm gonna try and fix it. First, I'm gonna go back in with my Physicians Formula Shimmer Strips and just highlight my brow bone and the inner corner of my eye. For lipstick today, I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Matte Lust for Blush, shade 665. I really like the matte Maybelline lipsticks. I think that they're really, really good. And it's just a really pretty, slightly cool toned pink. And now I'm gonna go in with a Q-tip and clean up that mother truckin' mascara that's fucking up my shiz. I don't really like this lip color. So I'm gonna go upstairs, fix my hair, put on the dress, and I will come down with a different lip color and I'll show you both of them because I just feel like this isn't bright enough for this look. Or maybe we need something glossy. I don't know, we're gonna find out together. Anyway, I'll be right back, so don't go anywhere. All right, so now that I have the dress on and my hair up, I'm still not feeling this lip color. I just think that it's kind of, you know, bleh. So I'm gonna go in with my Tony Moly Magic Lip Tint Delight in the shade 01. It's the clear one. I'm just gonna put it right on top of this lipstick and it's really gonna brighten it up and make it look a little bit glossy. 
I'm already liking that a little bit better. It's definitely darker in person than it is on camera. My lights really wash it out. I don't have any soft boxes. I just have these really bright lights on me. So it's really harsh lighting. You can pretty much see every flaw and it washes me out a lot. So I'm really sorry about that. If you're ever watching a lot of YouTubers and you're like, oh man, they're so beautiful, they're so flawless. Lighting really helps, so don't let it get you down because I used to let it get me down. And I do think that they're all so beautiful and they slay every day, but lighting really does work miracles, as does editing. As does editing. But anyway, I am just gonna show you my whole outfit now somewhere. I think I'm gonna do it against this wall. So this dress is from Shop Hopes. It's a internet store. They also have actual stores in Georgia, but obviously I don't live in Georgia. So yeah. I really like the color. I think it's really pretty and springy. It's really soft and comfortable and it's machine washable. I really hope that you enjoyed this spring look. I think that it's really bright and fun. I don't think I would wear it every day, but I do like the colored liner. Maybe next time I'll try and do a double liner so it's not so, well bam, in your face. But overall, I think I like it. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think if you enjoyed this full face chatty tutorial if you prefer voiceovers if you don't like my tutorials at all you can tell me that too i'll probably ignore you but if it makes you feel better you can tell me that as well makeup is a really personal thing i am not a makeup artist and i have had a lot of people say oh that's not right that's not how they do it in school highlight isn't supposed to be that predominant it's only supposed to it's supposed to be really subtle quite frankly i don't give a fuck what the rules say i do what i want i do what i like I think one of the best things about makeup is there really are no rules. What I really love is when people break through those barriers and they do what they want. That's just how we express our personalities. So I'm really sorry if you don't like me or my videos, but um, I'm gonna keep making them. And if you do like them, please keep watching. And I love you. Subscribe to my channel for more videos each week. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram, just beautyobsessedrn. Comment me down below and I will talk to you soon. Bye guys.